Broken Harbor by Tana French. The Perfect Family, a very much in love husband and wife who were once high school sweethearts, their adorable daughter and their precocious son. They live in a cul-de-sac in a beautiful suburban home by the sea. Friends and family, laughter and play, the Spains are happy, absolutely positively happy. Or are they? The children are found murdered in their bed. The parents stabbed in a blood-drenched war zone that was once a bright and cheerful kitchen. As high profile of a case as there could be, Michael Scorcher Kennedy is assigned to the homicides in Bryanstown, along with his temporary on probation partner, Richie Curran, who has never before worked a murder. It doesn't take long for this seemingly straightforward situation to crack and fray, however. Bryanstown was once Broken Harbor, the very same town where Scorcher's family vacationed when he was a child and where his mother killed herself. The picturesque the picturesque suburb is a shoddy, half-built, and largely abandoned development that is falling down around its residents once hopeful and now dashed dreams. What was supposed to be a quadruple murder is actually only a triple homicide, for the mother's barely hanging on, something that should be a positive, but even if she lives, she'll wake up to a life in tatters. And finally, circumstances aren't as cheery for the Spains as first portrayed father lost his job, the family's broke and waiting for the bank to take their home, and speaking of the house, there's something strange going on underneath the Spain's roof. There are holes in the walls and baby monitors strewn all throughout the other otherwise spotless abode. No matter what the situation, French always presents unique, haunting mysteries in her books. While the Irish culture plays a role to this, especially for American readers, the truly compelling aspect of Broken Harbor, and this is a trait of all its predecessors too, is how every man the characters are. A writer who pens her mysteries with people in mind rather than the plot, a formula, or science. French delivers both victims and perpetrators familiar to readers. The Spains and their trials and tribulations, their predictableness and their peculiarities, could be any young family. Tossin detectives who rather than depending upon technology and specialized training, talk to piece together the story. They talk to family and friends, suspects, the surviving victim, and perhaps most importantly, they talk to each other. Sure, there are techs who play a role in the investigation, but the evidence produced from these more scientific approaches merely complement the relationships cultivated by Scorcher and the rookie Curran. In addition, the detective's backstories dovetail with the mystery, lending more layers to an already complicated situation. Together, what French accomplishes with this recipe is an investigation readers can follow and participate in, versus being dependent upon an author's explanations and last-minute aha reveals. What's more, Broken Harbor is a novel that will stay with readers long after it's placed back on the shelf, because readers can be any of these characters, the detectives, the victims, even the killer. And that's frighteningly fascinating.